All right, we're all set. I have my machine threaded with very dark color threads so that you can see what I'm doing on this very white patch edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by having our machine in a very, very, very short stitch length straight stitch. And I'm going to just put my presser foot down. I am going to zoom in a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to hold my thread here and I'm just going to do a couple locking stitches and I'm going to hit my needle up and then I'm going to switch to my zigzag stitch. Now I figured out what width I wanted my stitch before and how far apart I wanted the stitches to go. And I think I got it right here. Okay, so that's something you can play with before and after. I'm sorry, before you stitch your uh, patch down because there are different size marrow edges or you might like a different look. So I'm going to start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my wheel towards me to see where it goes down and it should move over and that's not exactly where I want it so I'm going to just adjust a little bit so that when it goes down it is exactly where I want it. I'm going to do it again to make sure there we go. So it's going in and out right where I want it to. The options are I can just press needle up, needle down, needle up, needle down, and just walk it. I mean, these patches aren't that big. No big deal. Or I can turn my hand wheel toward, always towards you and do it by literally by hand that way. Although my, uh, I think my wrist might complain after this is all done. Okay, or of course you can just start sewing with your pedal. I put my machine in the slowest possible speed. Not all machines have that, but just just go slow and don't be afraid to stop and pivot. Leave your needle down when you want to pivot or let go of your hands. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit and make sure you're not blocking your view. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna keep going. A little at a time. So this is a zigzag stitch. I don't know if you can see here in the back. You see the design it's making? Okay, so that's a zigzag. And it does take a little bit longer, but it's very sturdy stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit further and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what a um, straight stitch would look like. So back here you'll see sometimes if you don't get the needle in at the exact edge you'll see the difference which is why I like using thread that actually matches. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my needle up and I'm going to put my uh, machine on a straight stitch okay and not a zigzag so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in a little bit into that marrow edge and I'm gonna put my needle down and I like where that is it's just about the center of the marrow edge so I'm going to show you what it would look like if you had a straight stitch and this you know, you go as fast as you or slow as you need to. Oops, I've got a needle there. So I'm going to leave my needle down so that when I pick it up, it can go anywhere and I'm not going to be worried about anything getting out of place. So I'm going to probably poke myself. So let's get a tool involved so I don't do that. I like the needles this way, even though they're halfly, halfway dangerous. All right, we're gonna pause so I can get that out without bleeding. Okay, we're back. Uh, don't forget to put your presser foot back down. All I did was take a pair of tweezers and look at the back and pull out the, the needle or the pin by the head. Okay, so let's continue. You can see the difference. 
Do you see how nice that edge is too? Um, you want to go slow while you're driving around because you will notice if you go off track a little bit. And I want to just straighten this. You can straighten it as much as you want. Just don't go too far any one time. I think I'm going to pivot a little bit. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pin out now before I hurt myself again. Okay. This is as fast as my machine will go right now because I have it on its slowest setting. Um, I, it's a little slow for me personally, but at the same time, I don't want to go any faster and, you know, I don't know, go off the fabric, go off the patch and get myself. So, oh, there goes another, there's another pen. Let me get that out. So we are approaching the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew. I know that there are two different kinds of stitches, but I wanted to make this video as short as possible. So I'm going to sew over where I started just by a little bit. In this case, it's about a quarter inch. That's probably fine. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my needle up again, and I'm going to shorten my stitch length all the way down. Then I'm going to drop my, uh, my presser foot's drop down, I'm going to put my needle down, and then just take those three or four little itty bitty stitches to lock it in place. And let's see what we have. So, alright, so here we are. That's pretty good. Which, uh, which do you prefer? And if I were you, I would just keep going in one method with the either the up and down with the button, with the wheel, or by the, um, what is that thing called? Yeah, the pedal. And just be consistent, and then you won't get these little hiccups here. But I think in this case, I think I like the straight stitch. And it's a nice tight straight stitch so that it won't go anywhere. Believe me, this thing is not, not going anywhere. All right, so now we have our patch stitched on. We need to deal with these ends, the tails. Uh, I don't like just leaving them in the front, even if they're trimmed short. I just, I don't know. There's something um, imperfect about it. You know me, I'm, I tend to be a perfectionist. So there's two different things you can do. You can go from the front and take your needle. Let's see if I can do this in real time without glasses. Yes, I did it. <laughs> So take your needle and you're going to go down right into the same spot where it comes out. Let's see if I can move this. You're going to go in right here. And you're just going to bring the thread to the back. And I did poke myself. Ouch. Let's see, here's the needle. You can always push down on something flat to get your needle to come through. <laughs> I end up doing that often. So I have my needle with the thread and I just pull the needle off. And now that I have my thread tail from the back, I'm sorry, to, from the front to the back, I just take them and I do some little knots. One and two. And then I trim on the back. That way, I know nothing is going anywhere, and I can leave a little bit of a tail. I don't have to cut so close to the edge. See? That's no big deal. Um, on items that aren't so tightly stitched, remember how we did those straight stitches in a row? Um, if it's not that super tight and they're bigger stitches, you can play with this intersection here between this thread and the other thread, and you can get your tweezers in and pull it up and tie it the same way. So two different ways.